This is the 2025 Bentley Continental GT Speed First Edition. It's rare that Bentley redesigns its cars top to bottom, but this represents a full transformation of the Bentley Continental, one of the most popular super luxury coupes on the road. The design of the Bentley Continental GT starts with the idea of jewelry. This is the biggest piece of jewelry and maybe the most expensive piece of jewelry some people will ever own. It starts with the crystal cut headlights, which have what they call an eyebrow. Above that lighted eyebrow, there are crystal blocks. Below it, the headlights are sort of ice cube style. Altogether, it adds a very modern flair to the Bentley Continental GT. On the rear, the Bentley Continental is notable for its new tail lights. They are horizontal teardrops, crystal cut, glowing red, and there's no chrome surround to them as they had in the past. As controversial as it is to replace a 12-cylinder gas-powered engine with a V8 and a plug-in hybrid electric, this one produces more power. 771 horsepower and 738 pound-feet of torque. Also notable and probably part of the controversy is when you turn on this car, it's completely silent. What that does give you though is about 50 miles of all electric driving range. Turn it over to sport mode and the V8 engine kicks in. One thing that Bentley didn't change is the silhouette of this car. There are subtle changes to the exterior, but overall it looks and feels like a Bentley Continental. It has that swoop of the hood line down to the rear spoiler. It has a very beautifully defined front end and they maintain the wide front grille. Inside, you'll find door panels that are faceted in sort of a diamond cut. That's quite a departure from the leather covered door panels of the last edition. You'll also find textured metal dials that feel sort of like a watch bezel in your hand. And on the rotating display, you'll find bezel set gauges that are crystal topped just like a watch. Changes to the interior of the Bentley Continental are actually a little subtle. A lot of the things that you'll see here were rolled out in the prior model, including the center console and the steering wheel. But you'll still see the same proportions of leather and trim details that we saw in the prior model. What is different is how this car drives. If you wanna drive the Bentley Continental just in electric, you can tap E mode. If you don't wanna drive in electric, you can actually just turn that off. If you wanna use all 771 horsepower, you're gonna dial it over here to sport mode, and that's where you'll hear the engine. You can also turn it to B mode, which is sort of sport mode light. The real magic about owning a Bentley is you don't just buy a Bentley, you commission one. There are over 4 million combinations of colors and textures and finishes and materials that you get to choose from when you're designing your Bentley. Ultimately, you should have the car that best fits your life and your style. The panels that surround the front and even the rear seats are curved to give you that feel of being in a cocoon. One of the choices that buyers will have is light chrome or dark chrome. And you can see here, this chrome is dark, but the chrome that surrounds this watch bezel is light. The dark chrome details are nice because there's less glare and there's less flash inside the cabin. But if you choose colors or textures or finishes that could use a little more light, a light chrome finish will add that extra amount of light in the cabin. The Bentley Continental is available in essentially two trims. There is the GT Speed, and then there is the GTC, or convertible. Both can be purchased with the first edition package, which adds another level of detail and also first edition badging. The Bentley Continental is absolutely a delight to drive. The 50 miles of all electric range gives you the luxury of driving quietly, and it has instant torque. It takes off like a rocket but dial it into sport mode and all 771 horsepower really set you free.